Hello everyone and we are gonna just really dive into today's video as you guys can see this is a complete disaster clean with me I just cannot even function when my house is this messy we literally came back home from our trip and like I knew we were going to do just dropped everything as close to the door as possible and just kind of vegged out for the next day and a half so I have a lot of catching up to do but I just cannot live like this any longer and I'm ready to tackle it so put me up on your TV or maybe you're watching this on your phone or your tablet whatever you have me up on let's just grab a cup of coffee and get started Now that you guys got to see what I'm working with today, I'm going to dive right in and I'm going to start here on my dining table. I just got sick of eating our meals on the couch like the last few meals, so I'm going to quickly get this picked up and I'm just going to utilize this bag and that way I can just put as many things as I can that need to go to their proper place or go to the same place using this bag. I mean, if you guys are like me, who likes to make unnecessary extra trips? Am I right? So I just try and like load up as much as I can so it's less back and forth. But after we tackle this dining table, we're going to move into the kitchen and you guys, oh my gosh, holy dishes. I can hardly see my countertops. I feel so much better that this is done. So if your home is looking a lot like this, I hope this video gets you super motivated to get up and get it done. I know vacuuming my dining table is probably a very rare sight and probably raising a lot of questions, but I always get asked about this table and it is from Living Spaces. It's called the Palazzo and I believe they do still carry it, but you see me vacuuming it because although it is beautiful, you see all these little crevices in the wood. It just traps a lot of crumbs and whatnot. So I have to come in here every once in a while with my Dyson and luckily it came with this awesome attachment and I just go through and suck up all of those crumbs and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down and then a lot of times after I'm done wiping it down I'll go hit it with the Dyson again and then it is good to go but I just wanted to address that just in case you guys were like why in the heck is this lady vacuuming her dining table video I show you guys all kinds of goodies and one of them are these impress nails I know a lot of people still are not able to go to the nail salon me being one of them but these nails you can pick them up at Target and I think pretty much any drugstore they are amazing it's like no glue or anything like that it has an adhesive on the back and they have a ton of really pretty colors and you literally just peel and stick and I've had mine last about seven to ten days and that is even going in the spa and going to see my horse and do like kids and all that um, and they just hold up so well and here are my home chef meals this week like I said I'm gonna be popping all kinds of things on the camera today just because I'm trying to just share more with you guys but um, these meals look so good if you guys ever like anything you see on here I would be happy to screenshot the recipe and the directions for you guys i'll put my instagram handle here on the screen for you and i could always just shoot it to you in a dm 
And this is the other thing I wanted to show you guys is kids are seriously the best. I love when they write little things like this. As you could see, he wrote a little card and he said, read when I'm 20. He's eight years old. So I'm definitely not waiting that long. I snuck and I looked inside of it and it was just like a cute little thing with like Mario characters in it, but it was adorable. But anyways, I'm just chatting now. I feel like I could talk to you guys all day. I, you guys are like friends of mine. I just love commuting, communicating with you guys down in the comments, but let's get back to the cleaning. I wanted to truly thank you guys from the bottom of my heart if you're still with me and clicking on today's video. I did notice a lot of my viewers are not subscribers and I would seriously love to have you guys if you have not yet subscribed. I try and keep this channel very lighthearted and positive and super relatable. And so if that is something that you're looking for, I would honestly love to have you. And I do chat with you guys in the comments. I get back to 99.9% of my comments and I love just having good conversations with you all so I would love to have you here on my channel or if maybe you guys are looking to just kind of sit back and relax and just enjoy these videos because maybe you find them relaxing and you don't really care to chat that is cool too I'm just so happy you stumbled across my channel and I hope that you guys will stick around and hit that red subscribe button you were making me so sure Doubts disappearing at last You made me fall without saying a sentence I am always on the hunt looking for fun new channels to watch here on YouTube. I would love if you guys would drop some of your favorite channels down below. It doesn't even have to be cleaning and lifestyle channels, although those are my favorite. Um, whatever genre, if you guys enjoy it and it's maybe like your guilty pleasure and you don't miss a video, I would love to know what those channels are. So drop me down below in the comments, what is a channel that you just cannot get enough of? Chemical, I know, I know, I know it is logical. Something that you do to me. I'm the one with a broken heart, waiting for you to come out and save me. I'm a mess, need to untangle.
one of my YouTube girlfriends on here told me that she got some feedback from a pretty substantial channel here on YouTube and they were watching her videos and giving her constructive criticism and he said one of the things he wishes more people would do is share what products they're using. So I'm going to quickly go over what I'm using right here. So you guys just saw I'm using Barkeeper's Friend. It's a, in a powder form. This stuff is amazing. As you can see, I had that rust stain from a pan at the bottom of my sink here and this just with hardly any effort at all just takes any of those stains off really quickly and it's safe to use on stainless steel and porcelain i even touch up my quartz countertops with it if it ever gets a stain on it this stuff is amazing and then what i was doing my dishes with was the mrs myers dish soap and i'm still trying to use up the iowa pine scent before i move on to a different scent maybe like a rose or a mum or like a peony scent for Valentine's Day I always like to incorporate my cleaning products I know that may sound weird but they look pretty since I display them here on my countertop but you guys are going to see me wipe off my countertop some more and I love using the Wyman's brand um, stone countertop cleaner and then I also love their stainless steel cleaner as well so that's a lot of what I'm using in today's video When is the last time you took apart your coffee maker, no matter what the brand, like an espresso or here like my Keurig or just like a regular good traditional old coffee pot? When is the last time you took it apart and gave it a good cleaning? I know every few months I try and do the vinegar trick here on my Keurig, so it's not due for that. But as you can see, this drip tray was like out of control and it was super satisfying to just watch it go from completely dingy to spotless so i hope you guys liked that part and i'm just gonna give the exterior a good wipe down it did collect some dust because we put it in the camper with us when we get, went camping and i do need to refill the water reservoir so i'm gonna get that all taken care of and i just wanted to let you guys know too that my coffee bar isn't usually this barren but i took down my christmas hot chocolate bar and i really want to scour pinterest and do a really cute setup over here so definitely stay tuned in a future video where i can put together a really cute coffee bar it's been so long I can't remember what it felt like To draw me all alive It's like I've been walking here for days Lost in the dance, oh babe I cannot forget you All I need is one drop and then I will be forgotten, babe Can't live without you You're like So the family room wasn't that bad. When we come in from a trip, we come in through the garage. So the first rooms we hit are usually the laundry room, kitchen and dining room. So it just really thins out by the time we make our way to the family room, if that makes any sense. And so it really wasn't that bad, but as you could see, I'd still had some luggage here that needed to be put back where it belonged. I just keep it in the storage closet here under the stairs. So if we ever need it, it's right there. 
but I just washed all of these blankets and we were just cozied in drinking coffee this morning. So I'm just gonna get those all put back away and kind of straighten up the pillows. And then at the end of this video, which we are getting to, we go upstairs and I show you guys my new bed. So I promised that in my last video because I had filmed it before it got delivered, but when I was doing my voiceover, it had arrived. So I made that promise that it would be in this video and I am keeping that promise. So hang in there with me for about another minute and you will get to see the new bed, finally. guys here is the infamous bed if you guys are new here I ordered a bed like back in August from Wayfair and it came and it was supposed to be beige and it was like pastel yellow it was awful so luckily they let me return it so I went to a furniture store looked at one in person and this was back in September and I placed my order and like a week after placing my order they bumped it out delivery for like three months and I could not find anything else that I liked so I figured why not just wait I'm in no hurry and then that came and then there was a whole debacle it was the wrong size so anyways I ended up wasting all that time for nothing and hitting another furniture store and within five days I had this beautiful bed so this was like the bed saga that lasted about six months it was just bizarre so I'm super thankful to have this bed let me know down below what you guys think of it I love it so much but thank you so much for watching today's video I know I kind of already loved on you guys earlier and I don't want to put you through that again but thank you again so much for watching you guys I will be back to my regular posting schedule so my next video will be up Tuesday and then again on I'm sorry Monday next Monday and then again on Thursday I'm just all turned around because I'm off schedule this week but please like this video if you enjoyed it also don't forget to tap that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one bye